just another little guy. If that's all I get today, that's okay, because I'm going to smoke these boys up. They're hard to light, though. <laughs> Good morning, fishing friends, fishing buddies. Here in the ice shack, so far this morning I've caught one small channel cat. I actually don't mind if I catch a, a decent number of them. I'll go ahead and just dress them up whole and throw them in the smoker. That'd make for a nice catch and cook video, wouldn't it? That smoked catfish meat's gonna come right off the bone. Little channel cat. Little summertime, I call these fiddlers. I think tonight I'm gonna call these dinner. I'm gonna smoke up a stack of them. Assuming that is that I can catch a stack of them. I'm fishing. Always be fishing. Maybe this is a good time for me to bring this up. If you're interested in catching catfish, bass, crappie, bluegill, I think my channel is a good channel for you to watch. Please consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button down below, along with the notification button, which is that little bell that you see. If you click that, that way you won't miss anything. Just subscribing alone does not necessarily mean that you're going to get notified when I put out a new video. And me, being the helpful and generous person that I am, uh, I'm trying to look out for you here. I want to make sure you don't miss anything, so hit that bell. Back to fishing. There we go. Got a little channel cat. The day of the dinks. Day of the dinks. Another one for the smoker. Just another little guy. Bam! Another little one. I know they look small, you guys, but I'm telling you, once these are dressed out, whole, on the bone, every bit as much meat off of one of these as you will one little bluegill, and I'm going to throw these in the smoker and they're going to be delicious. Look at all these little smoker cats. I know what you're thinking. I also know smoked catfish is delicious. You may not know that, but I know that. I'm perfectly willing to teach it to you. Yet another reason for you to subscribe to this channel. Cold water, young fish, smoker cats. It has been a while. <laughs> he jumped out. Little baby. It's all right. We'll smoke up nice. Smoke catfish tonight, boy. Luckily, these little cats, they clean up fast, easy. I'll show you how I do it. So stick around for that. You're not going to want to miss it. I think I got about six little smoker cats. I'm going to call them smoker cats. It sounds better than fiddler cats. Smoked fish is good. You can eat it just as is. You can make some fantastic like dips with it for crackers and whatnot. And since we got some more friends in town this weekend, we're talking about having just kind of like an appetizer buffet night. So I'm thinking maybe some smoked catfish dip would be good. First thing you notice is that these are some very small channel cats. And I will agree with you, these are some very small channel cats. But, I will also tell you, small channel cats taste the best. We're not going to play them, I'm going to dress these out whole, alright, and I'm going to put them on the smoker. And then we're going to turn these into uh, some smoked catfish dip for crackers, which is a great appetizer. So I'm going to run through these real quick, I'll show you the first one kind of slow dress them whole, get them ready. And I should also mention that not only is this good for the smoker, but these are great, you know, they'll be great pan-sized fryers too, if you, as long as you don't mind picking the meat off the bones, which I do not mind in the least. As always, fishing buddies, we need to start off with a very sharp knife. If you're not familiar with Channel Cat, there's a few danger points. Uh, here, here, and here. You can get poked pretty easily by any of those, right? Um, but what I'll do is I'll take my, these are skinning pliers, if you're not already familiar. A lot of people use regular pliers or channel locks or something like that, but these uh, are a good choice to get the job done. I've got two, two different pairs. They both work great as long as you do 
do a good job of making sure you keep the inside clean. If they get full with scum from the skin or little pieces of skin, then you can't grab onto the skin and pull the, pull the skin off. Just as a quick rundown, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this fin right here. Okay. Then I'm going to carve around it. I'm going to carve a, a small line down below the belly, right, and, and down to these fins, past the anus, anus. and basically and then carve, um, and I say carve, but I really just mean score the skin, just get through the skin uh, to get past those lines, and then I'm going to skin this, this beast, and I'm going to cut through, I'm going to break it open, I'm going to pull it apart, and the guts will all come with it and what I'm going to be left with is a nice uh, skinless bone-in uh, whole small channel cat. Now one thing I'll point out is that I do not keep the belly meat on a channel cat. I almost never never do. Now on a flathead catfish that's a different story. I'll definitely keep the belly meat because it's thick, uh, it's, it's bleach white, it's delicious, etc. But there's just not that much meat on the belly of a channel cat, in my opinion. It's just not that great of meat. So I don't, I don't bother keeping that. Uh, one of the first things I want to do is get rid of this guy, especially if there's a bigger channel cat. Just because it doesn't need to be there. And there's a very good chance you get yourself poked on that. Then what I'll do and this is very different than if you were going to clean or fillet uh, a large channel cat. This is just me dressing whole smaller channel cats. This is a slightly different method than what you would typically see or do. So I'm going to score down past there. I've already kind of scored across the top. So you want to make sure you get all the way through the skin, especially up here, because there's not much meat up here, it's just bone. So you got to get through the skin, score down there all right and while the body is still attached to the head you want to get a hold of some of that skin with your skin and pliers and just start pulling see how that belly is already released and I'm just pulling the skin down so now I've got basically a guttable carcass I'm just gonna cut the head off right here and this is all just clean meat. All the entrails, etc., are going to come off uh, with the head. You can do this with a flay knife. I'm going to use it with my larger Wusthof knife just because it's uh, that much easier. Pull the head off. I'm going to go ahead and just stick my finger in there and get anything that's left <clears throat> off in the what I assume to be the liver, heart, I don't know what these organs are. But I'm going to yank them out of there. Basically what we've got here is a nice catfish, whole dressed, ready to smoke or pan fry. So now I'm going to run through the next few a bit faster. As you can see it's getting a little dark out <clears throat> and what I'm using here is not necessarily a traditional smoker this is my Weber kettle grill but I have this thing which is I think it's called like the Smokinator 1000 or something like that but basically it's a piece of sheet metal you put your hot coals behind it which leaves you with an indirect section of heat over here uh, which you can use to smoke you know fish pork turkeys whatever and I've been using this setup for years <clears throat> okay now these these channel cats are not gonna take long they're gonna be the first thing I'm smoking tonight and the reason for that <laughs> is because what we're gonna end up doing is uh, Making these, make stripping the meat off the bones and making a nice fish dip out of it. <clears throat> so once the once the meat is smoked, 
uh, it can hold for a while, you know. All right, fish and family, let's check, take another look here. Oh, our temperature has definitely increased. Let's take a look at our smoke cats here. Basically what I'm looking for is for this meat to be flaking off. We are not there quite yet. All right, fish and friends, let's take a look. Okay. These look nice. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that fish will flake off, break up, chop up very nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off, bring them inside. We will strip the fish off of the bones, off of the skeletons. And the wife can mix the smoked fish into her dip. Yeah, that'll be very tasty. Ice fishing, catfish. Smoked, catfish, dip. These are the keys to making smoked catfish dip. I don't know the recipe to the dip. All right, cream cheese. Cream cheese. As with any good dip, gotta have the cream cheese. Mayo. Mayo. Sour cream. Mm-hmm. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Visit the Shire. You have to take a visit to the Shire. Tabasco. Take a road trip to the Shire. Worc 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 Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Sure. Um, salt, pepper, and you're supposed to use Old Bay. Old Bay, not for me. She doesn't care. Hold on. Stop talking, woman. Don't worry, honey. I'll cut that part out. She doesn't care for the old bay. I will let her uh, run with it. But I do enjoy old bay, for the record. She chose not to include old bay. That's on her. We'll find out how that goes. You can use old bay. I don't mind old bay a little bit. A little bit here and there. And uh, so I just make up my own onion powder, garlic powder, just whatever you got around. Mix it all up. Whatever you got around? Smoked fish. Smoked fish. If you don't have smoked fish, you can just use cooked fish and like liquid smoke. Hold on, hold on, hold, hold on. First of all, this is a fishing channel. Well, I didn't cut out the fish part of it. Yeah. But you're not going to just take some cooked fish and add some liquid smoke. This is a re this is this is the real deal. We don't play around here. She's trying to help you out, but I think she's doing you a disservice. You don't want to eat some crap. You don't want to eat some made up pretend smoke you want to smoke some fish if you can't smoke some fish don't make smoke fish dip <laughs> or buy some smoke fish and put it in your fish dip or subscribe to my channel learn how to catch some fish and smoke them and then watch my wife teach you how to turn it into a smoke fish dip Dang it. All right, continue, please. Mix it up. Sorry, I got wound up. It's done. Bam. Mix it for real. I Look at this. She's mixing. She's mixing. Smoked fish dip. An important part of this nutritious supper, dinner, breakfast meal. Enjoy.